3 series and we are here in the third game of the series uh, TSC and Gigabyte Messi. The current score is 1-1 one, one. and you are here with me Cyclops as your caster. I'm going to... Oh, the last game was... Dire team was back. actually a great game for TNC in the first 10 minutes. They got tiny. Dire team and... Pick. Oh, wait. This one. Lada first, and it Radiant might be. Yep. Tiny IO for uh, Gigabyte Mineski. Actually, I think TNC Pro Team should pick IO first. Lada. Now uh, they got a chance to pick Dazzle. Nope, it's Queen of Pain first. Dire Team Ban. Dazzle, Winter Wyvern still Radiant in the pool to pick back. if TNC want to counter that uh, combo from Tiny Isle. Dire team ban. Radiant team ban. Lich and Wind Ranger. And it. Fourth pick from Team Kikabai Minesi, what's it gonna be? Ten seconds remaining. Winter Vibrant Ban. Very nice ban by TSC because Winter Vibrant can easily call the Tiny Io. Use Winter Curse on Io and let the Tiny finish his body. And also Cold Embrace can um, prevent some damage from Tiny. <laughs> Ancient apparition. Team pick. You can see pro team. Gyro cup gigabyte minerski. Here is odd pick from TNC. And generation. Um, I'm not Ten sure that they're gonna play this Lada as a hard carry or as a support. Lada hard Five carry is also remaining. good. Like we saw Team Ideal Gigabyte and Sin in the Trust play Lada hard Reserve carry yesterday. Time. Just rushing uh, Blink Dagger and Power Thread and then Backing Bar. He's so powerful in this 6 by 8 5 I think he literally the the best hero in 6 by 8 5 Somebody in the chat say that this game between Gigabyte was this Asrock. So it's yeah, it's all about the pride of the brand. Now it seems like TNC Pro Team spent quite much time for their forward pick, so don't know what they're gonna... Oh wait, look at that! Minesi just got real. Real back. Oh, this is quite interesting. Uh, before the game start, somebody's saying that Rio is sick today, so he's not gonna play. Now he's back. In the last game of the series, when the team need him the most. He replacing the raging potato. G is still here. Now last 15 seconds, I don't know why TNC spent Ten so much time, limit. almost Ember Spirit, the Radiant end for TNC team Pro Team. It's gonna be a slot of support along with Ancient Operation, Queen of Pain mid, Ember Spirit as a hard carry, or maybe Slada off lane, do you think? Ten seconds remaining. Anything possible. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Mm. 
Hmm? Dire team ban. Road Martha banned. Our last man from Team TNC, bro team, what's it gonna be? Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Disruptor. Disruptor. Team pick. Disruptor Ion Tiny. This is quite hard to play to be honest since as you can see the only they don't have any reliable stunners or stopper for gigabyte mineski they need that kind of hero to stop ember spirit from from fire remnants away and also uh, team tnc got slada this game and it's omniknight uh, off lane the famous omniknight off lane from team tnc is right here he gonna play Ember Spirit mid Queen of Pain as a hard carry Omnic Knight off should be Omnic Knight and Ancient Apparition top All right, we are in the game already, and TP down so fast. Queen of Pain teleport down and trying to place observer wards right here. Block the creep camps. So I Tino, uh, I O Tiny, I E Tino, I O Tiny cannot use a uh, camp at uh, the camp right here. Axia also play some Pops of Wards here Not sure it blocked the creep cam or not, it should be It blocked this one So I mean if he found the uh, Sentry Wards 30 seconds to battle They are pinking Oh nope. Now look at this one guys. Going to be a rune fighter. Right for minute one. Going in four versus four. Started off with Aaron Launcher. Hit two target. Rocket Barrage doing some damage. But they all just got a gang spam that racing for paper. Tiny falls down. First blood. Uh, and Salada two is one for one. Now they're all aiming for Tihi. Walking to the high ground. He was healed by the Omni Igniter. Is he gonna make it? He need to eat one tango man. Is he gonna make it? The one hit and get that Ember Spirit still going on with that. Oh my Jesus Christ. What a crazy fight right here. Ex Lucky try to hide but hide the trees. Uh, Real Gyrocopter. Man, that that was superb crazy fight in, in the third game of the series. Avalanche. Nice harass by Raging Potato. I didn't see Raging Potato playing tiny before in the mid lane. So Lane it's Jesse Wedge on Dark Deer. Solo lane against a uh, Queen of Pain. Bottom lane is Omnic Knight Sports. Uh, Slada as a carry. Damage. Versus Real, Gyrocopter, and Jules on Disruptor. Toss in. Red King Potato 
quite hard for Tiki to landing uh, to to play in this lane because just you know uh, Avalanche can kill him because I also got some damage from the spirits, not yet adding spirits. Donkey is right here. Racing potato. Take a look at the bottom lane. Nice placing observer wards right here to block two creep camps here and here. Blada. Great good farm at bottom lane for Slada, 7 last hit. Oh, Gyro got 10 and 5 denies. Placing observer wards here to block the creep camp, so he can only stack this camp. 3 stacks already. Tiny gonna clear it soon. Avalon toss for the first time, but he he gonna get away with his uh, aim guard. Now he need to walk back into the tree line and pump up his bottle. Bit still chasing in. They're playing so aggressive on Tihi. Flame guard keep him alive, but he died because of the hit. Raging potato and his body diving in so deep. Oh, I really love it when they come so deep. Very exciting and dangerous. Take a look at that. Uh, I'm sorry. Take a look at the network. All right. Um, the graph. I mean, Minesh is still ahead on Golden and Xperian. Lane going hard on that Gyrocopter, waiting for the next little crutch of Gyrocopter by Rial. Probably Sharp, he's gonna lose a Sharp, uh, and he's still getting blocked uh, by the two heroes. Very nice kill by Team DNC. Uh, he just needs a little in crutch and a heal from Omnic Knight. About top lane queen of pain level 5 already. Very good farm with 24 last hit and 60 denies. And Jesse Rash only have 6 last hit. What a. What a large hit by Raven. Doing so good. He, he denied most of the creeps that should be burned from Ion Gel. Vash on top. You know, I just changed my headset today, and yeah, I'm really happy with the uh, with uh, my quality. I hope you guys, I hope you guys happy about it too. Um. Leading on the network right now, of course, it's tiny. Already got his. Uh, power trade and this is going to be a modern tiny going for an agony scepter at all crash and just you know uh, relocate everywhere with Kyle. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Beyond. Third room of the game, got picked up by Rial. Regeneration and top rune picked up by Ayo. Man, the game looking good for Mineski to be honest, but the crap shows up that it's still pretty even. Raging Potato diving in really deep for... Uh.
We all. Somebody's saying he's sick today. Not Guys, sure, you know, for, but for some reason he showed up in, in, in the third game of the series. The most important game. Even though this game is means nothing to both teams because TNC already um, won to the playoff round and Minetti already got eliminated from the tournament, but this is all about the pride. Minetti don't want to lose this game, you know, end up the tournament losing all the games. Sam H. That was close. He about to land his little crutch and he was. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Limbs back. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Farming very good for Queen of Pain. 23 last hit for two denies. Fifty four last hit for Tiny. Look at the bottom lane first. Damage going very aggressive on Team Minesi and finish the target with a little in crutch and a hit from Exaki. Still waiting for the relocate. Not yet. Io getting close with six. Top tower is under attack. Omnic Knight, finally the first relocate of the game. Glimps at TNC, Sam H back for the call down and finish with the rocket barrage. Very nice play by Minesi. Yeah, Minesi seemed very strong with Rio in the last game. Dredging uh. Potato gonna turn with his avalanche. See, it's a target. Scream of pain. Shout strike. He just don't want to waste his ultimate on that uh, on that pile. It's a two minutes. Two minutes, 15 second cooldown ultimate. So you need to keep it for team fight. Bottom lane, tiny power thread and, and a point booster on his way. Sorry over there, Salada. Pick off that Jesse Wash. I'm gonna show you guys some fight recap. Meanwhile, the bottom lane falls to Team Minetti. Dredging Potato. By Remnant saying no oh, for Tihi, a little bit too YOLO for Tihi, but they know they can kill, they got enough damage to finish that Raging Potato. Now the next one is going to be this way, but where are you gonna go? Get back here, bro. And yep, they got them. Tihi gonna fire Remnant away, he's still got one Remnant left. He's just gonna bait first, waiting for his teammate to come in. Heal is ready, Repel is ready. Dropping a call down, a heal comes out, repel as well. Already lost his ultimate for a Garocopter. Six to four game go game score. We still don't know who's gonna reach the first hand kill. Relocate down. It seems like he, he is the one who's stuck in the circle. Tiny is here, Gyrocopter as well. Now retreat back to the high ground for the Queen of Pain. Tee seems like he's stuck with an NC creep. Somebody need to help him. A heal must be used and uses on Tee No repair on Tee He He's gonna die there in the trees. Gyrocopter finished the target. Sam Edge on top. Getting closer, and oh, I'm sorry. The heal from Omnic Knight, the skill Rio, the gyrocopter over here. He stay too close to the creeps, and then uh, Omnic Knight just come and heal. That's it. But oh, I think for TNC, they need to wait for the Sam is to get this blink dagger first. So one, he get the blink dagger. It's gonna be different story. You know, I saw the power of Salada Blink Dagger from yesterday, signing the Trust versus Ideal. Which team, whichever team who gets Salada will win the game. <laughs> so, yeah. In the end, it's Ideal. 
Plata is as a carry is also not bad. Going back, still fire Rem 19, gonna burn this guy, G, with a flame guard, got the kill, and Ember Street, now he needs to find a way to go back, nice dot on Everland shot, uh, some fight going on around here, Jules drops so low, the shot down by Raven, while Ember Spirit still here, gonna be fine, because he already placed his remnant, let's take a look at this one, double kill for the Raven, Queen of Pain is doing his job real good. Lucky playing sandwich already got a blink dagger. Go look at some items update, guys. Kinda dangerous for real. Because Slada can easily jump in, amplify damage, hit him, bash him. Omnic Knight. Pretty good farm Omnic Knight to be honest. He he playing this hero as a support, uh, as a lane mate with Slada. Now he managed to get his arcane boot and magic wand. One kill. Impressive. DNC team get the first Radiant 10 kill in this game. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Coming in from the side way, TNC all on smoke. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Cut through. Dyer's middle tower is and under attack. And the smoke reveal because I think he's getting too near to the too near to the tower. I think they are on top. Seems like Minesi is not prepared for a team fight right here. Fire remnants. And pick up here soon, it's going to be Teehee. Let's take a look at this one closely, guys. Teehee on a hair soon, he's, he's, he is Ember Spirit. He can just uh, Ember uh, Fire Remnant in, playing in. He cannot catch anyone. Now, this is not looking good. Teehee just. They could have killed it all, but Queen of Pain, however, just got that um, Dark Seer once again. Wow, the middle lane blinks in Slada, mid split during crush fire, remnant in, ceiling chain comes out, follow up with a um, uh, call down. Just need to walk away from a team fight a little bit for the Emperor Spirit coming back in once again, but he's gonna be fine because he already got fire remnant high ground. Uh, finally, the Guardian Sanctuary comes out, they're all just gonna dive in, searing chain for the second time. Hee hee. Spirit. Only skill spam, only one down, which is harder. I like this pauldron. Oops. Man, that, that was my bad. I gotta apologize to you for that. I missed the kill. Seems like uh, this tiny IO just relocate down and just get the kill of that Omnic Knight. Tiny, instead of rushing Aghanim Scepter, he also bought Dyer's a blink. Top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. He could have get an Aghanim Scepter by now if I have blink. That that's very really uh, big decision by Tiny. Fire Remnants uh, away and now coming in by Sam Edge. Just perfect timing. So literally crutch and heal. Kill that IO already. Searing Chain comes out. Uh, Seven. Gonna get the Disruptor. Two down already for Team Mineski. Amplify damage. Little crutch. And Mineski. And they are using this Ember Spirit as a bait. 
And the same old thing repeats again. Rocket Barrage, but very good heal by AU. You know, this, this Omnic Knight is actually TNC's secret weapon. They always use this hero when it comes to the important game. Um, no matter, use him for uh, an off lane along with Shadow Fin by Tihi or use him as a support like this game. They play Omnic so good. Yeah, actually, the only team in Southeast Asia that play Omnic Knight right now for TNC. Blinking again by Sam Edge. The combo is just too OP, man. But Tiny, actually, he entered Dominating 3 and to flag setting up the wall. Waku backs in. This is dealing pretty much damage to the team TNC side. And seems like Sam is dropping low. Now they need to kill this hero. If they, you want to win a team fight, you need to kill the doctor. It's the same thing. If you are the zombies and you want to kill people, you got to kill all the doctors. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. And that is a fiery cap. Three down. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's I'm middle gonna tower try is to. Attack. Uh, upgrade the video quality for a bit uh, if my I'm not sure that my connection is better yet it up to it yeah it seems fine now and generation killing spree oh wow Seems like my internet connection is getting better. Good news, searing chains on Rial. Just like I mentioned earlier, once the Sam Edge got his bling dagger, nobody in, in Team Inesi will be safe, especially Rial. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Looks like we have around 3.7k viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I inform you guys that at the same time, we have the Summit 4 China Qualifier Grand Finals to decide who is going to get the ticket to LA. The game between Vichy Gaming versus eHome, if I'm not wrong, is not true about the score. Yeah, we see gaming two games already. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, but look at this one first, Minesi is just gonna come in, trying to contest the Roach Hunter, fight start with the Ancient Operation, Ice Blast right here, dropping a call down, a knight using that U Scepter to dodge himself from the call down, what a place, Lana finish that juice, Zeus die already, who gonna pick it up, and it's going to be Tiny, what a snap by Kicker by Minesi, Tiny on killing spree, Sonic Wave comes in, but Tiny gonna come back with the full HP full mana, this is not looking good for Team TNC, that Aegis got snatched, now blinking, Tiny, Avalon sword, and hit him with a 3, Tiny, come on, one hit away, Tiny still got playing amplified damage on Tiny. Go, this, this Slada, man, the game is getting more and more tense now. What a big team fight, Minesky died 4. <laughs> well, but they, they got, actually Tiny died because of, uh, Died after he picked up the edges, so it's actually three down for Team Nessie side. Could have been TSC edges. Alright, thank you for letting me know that the quality, quality of the screen is getting better. 
Uh, I'm try. I'll try to upgrade more if if the connection seems good. But but hey, tiny was slow by the. Oh my God, Kofi is killing the tiny. After winning a team fight, Minesi just <laughs> died four heroes. Ember Spirit, not yet Balfiri. Four down for team to buy Minesi. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Pain. Still need his battle fury, but because of the game that is heavy clashing between two teams, he doesn't have much time to farm. Try to understand that. In for AU, Avalanche, Toss, and hit him with an Agony Scepter. Finally, he thought he was forced to use a Guardian Angel, and it just let him go away. Coming in, Slada tried to save his teammate. The wall comes out. Radiance top tower is Any agony except I'm, I'm pretty sure that he will go for next item, uh, mental style first before the assault crash. Pain of pain. Already got enough gold for her agony scepter. And she just increase cooldown. The cooldown is only forty. Increase damage and decrease cooldown. Great fast reaction by the Ember Spirit. That went farming bottom lane. Remnants away again. Let's take a look at some information. This is the items update between two teams. Seems like X Lucky, the ancient apparition, is getting close to to his uh, agony scepter too. He also got a hand by us. Tiny. Dasha is ready. Dark Seer now all on smoke. Blink scene gonna catch this Getsy Ranch and I really don't I really have no idea what is he doing there. He didn't even have a invisibility or something. He just he just walked to the <laughs> walked to the high ground, getting too close to Team TNC and die. Like a goddamn farmer. Maybe that is a space created for the bottom lane. Tiny and gyrocopter pushing in and aiming for the uh, for the top bottom here to hours. While TNC looking to trade. Ancient Apparition hits the ultimate, uh, Cooldown comes out, a firing Eminent uh, out of the Cooldown, blinks in, uh, the little in crutch, uh, relocate. Uh, now they all need to wait for uh, the IO. The top lane pushing Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit, uh, Ember Spirit already finished with our Fury. Killing the spree for the slaughter. There were 13.
So it's a goal per minute chart in case you want to know who got the uh, fat, who is the fastest farmer in the game. Fastest one thing be tiny with 520 gold per minute. Another kill in the middle lane, sitting in an ice blood. Ah, oh, gonna be a hard game for Gyrocopter. He Dyer's was aimed all the time by that Slada. Jules. Glimpse Dyer's one back. Got one blinking. <laughs> now easily two kills by team uh, TNC. But they need to do some objective. They, they need they need to take down the tower for TNC. As you can see, heroes of Team TNC they doesn't have power record at all. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. While Team Minesi got tiny with an agony scepter, can easily push. He already blinked. Uh, gonna set up with ill scepter first. Uh, someone needs to fire rim nance in searing chain. Uh, searing chain connected. Uh, on that raging potato, they're gonna get easy kill on the tiny Sonic wave dealing pretty much damage and also hit that juice too. Juice uh, amplified damage, one hit away, but juice, juice pop up his magic one and he got away. He still keep on running. That's it. He gonna die and three down for Team Minesi. This is looks looks really bad for Minesi. Twelve to thirty-two. Team size Lada hard carry is paying off for Team TNC. They always get an easy kill with the uh, amplified damage because it gives them vision and also you know some damage. Lada is too OP, man. This patch beating. Slytherin crutch is very strong, and that's what I'm talking about. Slytherin crutch amplified damage. He got a Vanguard. Midst <laughs> what an air ball Rap and Sonic Wave Now it's time to go back to the Rochan Rochan is online now so just get ages and trying to finish the game Sonic waves come out. After this game, we still got one more match, uh, which I'm pretty sure is going to be a super intense match between one, two, three, and Idea of Gigabyte uh, to decide who gonna get eliminated from the tournament. It's a little green crutch. What did you Always in right place, in right time for Slada in this game. To the top lane trying to catch this tiny pop up this BKB for oh now they need they, they gotta sacrifice guide again some fight going on here Desi is actually the one who who was he, he who is in the Russian page right now Sonic Wave comes out dealing so much damage light of it tiny pick up the Aegis but he gonna die right after the Aegis Light of Fit Vega killed two down from Team Mineski. The game score is just keep getting uh, Take a look at the craft dropping down to TNC side. With this performance, I don't think Mineski will survive the surround of Frankfurt Major. They need to do something, then uh, maybe a team meeting or something. Or it could be that they try to hide that strategy to use it in the major. Do you think?
man. But if if you get the first two pick I O tiny and you still lose the game, that that's not a good sign to be honest. Because I O and tiny is one of the best combo. Picking this combo will make sure you know will guarantee you that this tiny will be rich, will be fat and strong. He is fat and strong, but the point is, he always get kited by Team TNC from Selitalin Crutch, uh, from a uh, Searing Chain, and oh. also his damage was prevented by Omnic Knight Guardian Angel. So that's what happened. Team side, they know that Tiny is there. They're gonna go in. Oh, they were so close. Can't fight each other. Tiny blink away. Need to change the place to high. He's just like a fugitive. Now start it off with um new scepter. Oh, right off the ass. 2.8k go for Ember Spirit. He's getting close to his Daedalus. Gonna get it soon, I guess. 432 critical damage for Ember Spirit now. This is the fantasy points. The highest fantasy points in the game is Sam Edge. Most of most of the points are from stun. Look at that. That that is a one high stun points. Four point seven stun points. I mean he's stunned a lot. And two point one points from the kills. Well Omnic Knight, that is actually a very high point for support. So Five point two points. From healing, this guy is a goddamn doctor. He deserves to be in Africa. Man, talking about Africa, I just feel sad all the time. Still got kids, and it's not healthy there. If I am a doctor, of course I'm gonna go Africa. Ember yeah. spirit. Already got his Daedalus. Now it's time to push in, guys. Barrax is the target. Gonna start the fight with Blinking. Not a target. Drew is going to be the first one. Easy kill. Disruptor. He didn't even have a chance to use his ultimate. Now without Kinetic Storm, Static Bill from Disruptor, it's gonna be hard for Nineshi to defend the Rax. They, I think they have to let it go. In. Vacuum comes in, setting up the wall, but all of them, everyone that got BKB just pop up the BKB. The Guardian Dreams, uh, I'm sorry, Guardian Angel is saving everyone from TNT and see from a lot of damage dealt by that Tiny. And Tiny gotta go down, a slight of fist. Fire Remnant 10 got that real, real. Die because of the heal. Uh, I believe they don't have any buyback, so it's gonna be two barracks. Radiant Middle Bags has fallen. Or, um, TNC. Darkseer is here, but I don't think he can do much. Sam is what shot down by the tower. Sam is gonna fall, but Sam is what repelled. But he's gonna be fine. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Last big Omnic Knight is destroyed in Minesi. I'm pretty sure that this is something unexpected for Minesi, Omnic Knight. Radiant's bottom barracks has fallen. Kill. Two racks at the same time. Game score is 4 to 2, 12.
TH searing chain a bit too cocky for TH but he's still alive oh what a face anyway Ember Street got caught down by the disruptor but he actually did so much damage got like already for the Raven next one is going to be real triple kill for the Queen of Pain Next one is going to be this dark seer. We got a GG call from Real. Ultra kill. Queen of Pain. All right, man. Congratulations. Seems like TNC proceeded to the final, uh, to the playoffs round. Uh, unbeatable records with three win in the group stage and Vinesi. I gotta say that this is. Um. This really bad performance in that start at the C13. They won zero and they lost three, uh, three games, and they got eliminated officially eliminated from the tournament. So all I can do now is just wish them luck in a Frankfurt major.